Hi, I'm Pam Sidhu here at Subverse Radio. Now, you know I love to interview artists, bring you the very best in talent. And that's exactly what I'm doing today because I've got joining me today, Ganika Kapoor. Ganika, how are you doing? Hello, everyone. Uh, to everyone who's listening to me on Subverse Radio, uh, we've spoken before a few years ago, I think, and I'm back uh, to catch up with you all. Oh, it's great to have you back with us. Now, as you said, you've spoken to us a few years ago, but we're listening to you all the time, Kanika. Uh, we love your music. And talking about music, you have a brand new track out, a brand yes. new song. Um, you always like to bring us something that little bit different. And that's exactly what you've done this time. Uh, your new song is called Goka, and you've collaborated with a Nigerian artist, Reassurance. Yes. How did this come about? What made you fuse Punjabi and Afrobeats together? You know, I, uh, I two years ago, I, I got married and I, I happened to uh, go to Nigeria with my husband. And uh, while I was there, I sort of came across a few producers and I thought of, you know, Afrobeat, which is ruling the world. I mean, it's a sensation. And uh, I thought, why not do something with a few artists over here and it started from a producer introducing me to an artist to another producer to another artist it's it's almost two years later I feel like I've become a huge part of that whole industry um, and uh, that's how I met Ria Shon, um, and we decided we'll do a, a track together and uh, and take it from there and that's it Coca happened indeed it did and of course Goka has been done many times, but this is something that little bit different. How would you describe it? I, you know, I mean, if you if you see how I started my career from the UK with Jogani, um, I've always done a sort of fusion and I just feel that it comes to me very naturally. And uh, I like things to be easy and it should just come from my heart. And, and uh, yeah, and, and that this is how it, I, I love having a collaboration with, with voices and and this was the first time I was doing something with you know a girl uh, who's an artist too and you know she's a phenomenal artist and up and coming in in, in her world so yeah. I thought it would be great you've created a real magic many times where you've got traditional Punjabi sounds and mixed it up you did it with Jugni um you've done it with other tracks and you've done it with this one as well but Aga Punjabin, and I have to ask you, being here in the UK as well, because of course, you know, I, I always think of you as being one of us, being a British Asian, because you know, yeah, you, yeah, you, I have. this is where it all where it all began uh, for you musically, anyway. Well, as far as I know, in terms of Jubilee, yes, it did. It did. yeah, uh, and, and you know, it all took off. What's the influences that you get from here, from the UK, um, in terms of the Punjabi influences um, and the Western influences together? I feel that I am quite, you know, because I almost, I would say, grew up in England uh, since I was a teenager. And I obviously it's influenced my whole thinking of, you know, growing up in Lucknow as a child, learning classical and real music, uh, real um sound and then mixing it with the whole UK culture. Um, it comes just so naturally to me, you know, and uh, and yeah, that's that's how all my music sort of comes and that's how I even sing it. I don't yes. make it very, very traditional. I feel like anything I sing is sort of like a fusion. It definitely is. I mean, I know you've not got Rhea Sean with you here now, but we've got you here with us live. Can we just get a couple of lines from you? Toka, garva dere maya toka. Ah, love it. And you know, it was listening to these kind of songs growing up that made me actually want to go and get my nose pierced. So I'm sure you're going to hear from like lots of people in the future going, it was your song, Kanika, your song that made me go and go and get it done. The way the Afro beats, the way the fusion comes in, uh, the Nigerian sounds. You mentioned you were on your honeymoon. You you got hooked and you thought musically, being a mu the musical soul that you are, you thought to yourself, you know what? There's going to be a great fusion here. And that's exactly what's happened. Now, you're on your way to Nigeria soon as well, aren't you? Tell us more about that. 
Uh, well, so I, I do spend a little bit of time in Lagos, in Nigeria, because my husband has worked there also. And um, and I've set up a studio. So in the last 18 months, we started working on an album and we have many interesting collaborations coming. So we have an EP uh, and then an album that's releasing now in the next, I would say, very, very soon, a few weeks, I would say. So Coca was like a little teaser and uh, watch the space. There's some insane Ooh. music coming, which is all written, composed, produced, shot, everything in Nigeria. It's it's Amazing. a different vibe. So I'm very is excited it? about that. That is very different because it's not often that we get Punjabi artists, you know, doing a whole album like yourself in Nigeria. So this is going to be really interesting. But you mentioned, you know, you've got UK connections. You've got a studio out in Nigeria. You're actually talking to me right now from Mumbai. Um, yeah. So, you know, to a real global artist. What's happening for you musically in the world of Mumbai? Well, I decided, you know, post-COVID, uh, like many other artists, we all decided that we needed an independent career because, you know, not many films were being made or are being made. And there's a lot of still a lot of remakes in movies, you know. So um, how do you take out your music that you wish to? So that made me uh, launch uh, my own record label called Bajrao Records and on which I'm even launching, actually my first artist I'm launching next week and he's insane. I love him. Wow. Um, we must talk about him soon. I was um, but I uh, back, yeah. But uh, I think also to sort of give uh, a chance and give back to artists, um, female and male artists who need help, who need to understand this business of music because I didn't when I started, you know. And uh, so basically educating an artist and, and building them up. So um, that's what Bajar Music is, Bajar Records is doing and has a lot of my independent music. So I'm able to sort of take out and release music as and when I like. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it's exciting times. You've just released a new track. You've got a new album coming out in April. You've also launched your own record label and you're 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 launching artists. This is huge and sharing, you know. So next really week, actually, on the 20th, I'm launching an artist and I'm I'd love to do an interview with him with you, you know. So okay. but I'm gonna hold you to that, Kanika. We're gonna get you back on. Can you give us a little teaser? Can you tell us his name or anything? I think he's he's a very trending boy. Uh, he's only 18. He's a phenomenal singer, which was very important for me. And he sings live really well. So we'll do a session soon. Yeah. Next week. So where in the world is he based? He's Delhi, Delhi, Mumbai. Okay. Okay. He's a very young boy. He's a teenager. Excellent. Excellent. Well, we're looking forward to getting him on with yourself. And yeah, like you said, we'll do a, a live, live session. Um, but exciting times. But Gunnika, I can't let you go without a couple of lines of Juganichi. This song has entertained <laughs> for years. We play it all the uh, time on this radio. For sure. Of course, it's a song that changed my life. Juganita kai vichya thala Chhad dunia de janjala Kuchh ni ni bhinna bandhya hanal Rakhi saapat siddh da amaha lava Hapir me reya ha jugni ji Ewea lava neya di Jugni ji Ewea navi pihir di jugni ji Thank you. Ah, va. Thank you so much, Kanika. That for me was a was a dream come true. I have loved that song since you released it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank that you. For us. And we are loving Coca. Thank you so much for coming on. And Please, thank you so much to you uh, for giving um, you know not just me but all independent artists you know uh, time and and you know and and a and a chance to sort of showcase their music. And thank you for playing our music. Thank you so much, Kadika. We'll speak to you soon.